Nestled in the Austrian Alps, the city of Mozart weaves a rich musical legacy with unique blend of Italian and German heritage immediately evident in the well-preserved Baroque architecture of its UNESCO-listed core. Surrounded by breathtaking mountain scenery, the city acts as a gateway to the lakes, mountains, and historic mines. Salzburg is a city perfect for exploring on foot. With its perfectly preserved Baroque architecture, UNESCO-listed old town and pictures cobbled streets, it's easy to create your own route that would take you to the city's pride such as Mozart's birthplace, Mirabel Palace and Gardens, the Dom Quartier and Huhen Salzburg Fortress, even to its numerous churches and its most picturesque photo spots. Is Salzburg worth a visit? The answer is absolutely yes. This is without a doubt one of the prettiest cities I've ever visited. Salzburg Hauptbahnhof is a 15 to 20 minute walk from the center of the old town. Walking for me is the best way to experience the city. My first stop was at the beautifully manicured gardens of the Mirabil Palace. Flowers were in bloom and the fountains in operation and the best thing is it's totally free. It is a historic building in the city of Salzburg, Austria. The palace with its gardens is a listed cultural heritage monument and part of the historic center of the city of Salzburg UNESCO World Heritage Site. The palace was built about 1606 on the shore of the Salzach River, north of the medieval city walls. The gardens were made accessible to the public under Emperor Franz Joseph I of Austria. Up to today, it is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Salzburg. Several scenes from The Sound of Music were filmed here. Maria and the children sing Do Re Mi while dancing around the Pegasus Fountain and using the steps as a musical scale. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Salzburg's most famous son, was born in this bright yellow townhouse in 1756 and spent the first 17 years of his life here. Today's museum harbors a collection of instruments, documents, and portraits. From Mozart's house, I continued to wander around the corner to Residence Platz, a huge open square which was quiet and relaxed. Around this area, you will see numerous horse and cart rides on offer. The Residence Fountain is here and it's considered to be the most impressive in Salzburg. Connected to Salzburg Cathedral is the Dom Quartier Museum. The city center is small and easy to navigate on foot. There is also a reliable bus service and is quite cheap. The public transport makes popular day trips from Salzburg very easy. One unique characteristic I've observed of the city is being bike friendly. Salzburg is a great city to explore by bike as well. There are cycle lanes which are numerous. It may not be on all streets but with dedicated cycle paths alongside on both sides of the Salzach area and elsewhere. The next spot I came to was the magnificent river Salzach, which you have to cross to get into the heart of the old town. As it was a bit sunny and because it's open and picturesque here, I found myself wandering aimlessly up and down it for a bit. Countless narrow cobblestone streets merge into famous squares dotted with historic buildings spanning the centuries. You may not know it, but you'll see architecture from the Middle Ages, Romanesque, Baroque, and Renaissance periods. I did enjoy looking at the different designs of iron guild signs hanging from the tall buildings. Salzburg is a wonderfully interesting and enjoyable city to spend time in at any time of the year. Historical buildings and eventful history is what the Altstadt of Salzburg is known for all over the world. There are plenty of hidden places that radiate extraordinary flair. I hope that this video has highlighted enough hidden treasures of the Altstadt and bring the special side of Salzburg closer to you. Before I'm going to end this video, allow me to say that life is full of wonder. Even if we are in the point in life where we cannot appreciate things, it sometimes helps to remember that there are really things to enjoy when we are ready. So let us seize every moment as they come, with open hearts and arms outstretched, to embrace the possibilities that lie before us. This is Johnny's channel. Until my next travel, cheers!